Well hello there friends, today we're going to be drawing a nice quick simple easy picture of Dory, the fish that chose to forget. Now we're going to start off this picture by actually just drawing a great big ellipse that's going to fill most of the page. So this ellipse is basically a circle that's much taller than it is thin. And so I'm just going to start off this shape very loosely with these long loose strokes, just using the natural arc of my hands to curve all the way down and around and then something similar is going to come up the other side probably not going to get it perfect normally I like to move the paper around a lot so I can get a natural curve but I'm trying to keep it still so that it all fits in on the camera for you but that's kind of what we're going for and then if you take this circle split it in half straight down the middle this is going to help us place all of the bits of the fish and then split it in half right across the center. It's gonna help us get an idea of where everything is. Now let's split it into quarters as well. Around about here, and around about here, and now we can get to work. So, the tail part of Dory that comes off is probably a little bit more than half the width of this circle um, off to the left. So if I imagine this distance again, and then I'm probably gonna go just a little bit more and get a line around about there, just so I know that the tail's gonna shoot off to that zone. And the tail itself comes out of this quarter here, the bottom second to last quarter. So I'm just going to imagine this curve comes off a bit, just to create a bit of a fish shape. If you imagine this line comes all the way out as a guiding line, I'm just gonna curve off to here. And again, on this side as well, I'm just gonna smooth out this curve so that it goes out to the side. So once it kind of just goes out and in, then it just shoots up and out as a fin. So you can kind of mark that between the halfway point and the quarter point is probably how high I'm gonna have a fin on this side. And then on this side, it shoots out fairly straight. So I'll get a line that just kind of meets up with this curve around about here. And another line that meets up with this curve fairly straight in around about here. And then maybe I'm just going to create more of a a fin shape that comes off here that sort of goes up and then just shoots out a little bit, just curves off before coming back up and in, something like that. And then we get a line that curves back to the body like so. Now it's all gonna make more sense as we carry on. With Dory's face, the eyes are somewhere in the top right hand corner. So if we imagine where we've got this um, top halfway point meets the quarter point, the eye's gonna sit just outside of this kind of box zone here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna imagine a circle around about here. It's fairly large, it takes up um, a good half of this space. It does come over the quarter way lines all the way around. It's gonna smooth that out. And then the other circle is going to be the same size, just off to the right of the side of the face and just ever so slightly up. So it's gonna go around about here and just shoot off to the side, something like that. That's where we get the eyes in. Now, with the Dory character, we're going to actually see a little bit of expression in these eyes. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is just draw in some great big pupils that are facing straight towards us. One there, and then the other one also facing us around about there. And then this eye actually comes in as well. It curves down and in before then curving out. So if you just imagine instead of a straight line cutting it off, it's gonna be a bit of a triangle but just pokes in ever so slightly. And then on this side, a very similar thing. It curves down with a bit of a triangle shape and then there's this hood or lip to the eye. So we're gonna come round and just follow that line round and up like so like this. And then we're gonna follow the line all the way over to the top and make it disappear just behind the back, like so. And then the same on this side, it just has a bit of a hood, goes up and a bit on that side as well, that goes out. Just gonna check it's all in focus. Lovely, it is. So now that we've got the eyes in place, we're gonna build up from here. We can imagine where the mouth is for a great big smile by taking this halfway line. I'm gonna go just above it, and that will be where we've got the top of the smile and it's just to the right of the center line. So let's bring that out and along like so. 
and then I'll let that just curve all the way back up to be the front of the face. And then the bottom of the smile goes about halfway between the halfway point and the bottom quarter. So it's going to meet somewhere around about the bottom there. So I'm just going to curve that down. Great big smile. That's going to curve back up and in. Curving it up and in, right back, in fact, so it cuts right under. And if we imagine that the outside edge of the lip, fish lips, will go out on the right here, just like so, and then back down. Now, the dory fish um, has a little bit of a beak that kind of drops out there, so you might just want to draw that in as such. Almost looks like teeth, and a tiny bit of tongue, or whatever a fish version of a tongue is, around about down there. Excellent. So, with the rest of this character, there's a tiny bit of tuck where the smile goes into the cheek, and there's a tiny bit of bulge around about here where the cheek is just pushed out in general because of a lovely smile. With the fins, however, we need to now mark out where these guys come in. Take that bottom quarter line, go to the left of the center line, this little zone here, this bottom left hand box, and the fin starts around about this point. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it gives you an idea. And this fin is going to curve all the way up, and basically, it's going to shoot up to about the same level as the top of the pupil of the eye, around about here. So we're going to take this line, and we're just going to let it shoot all the way up to around about there. The fins are waving hello at us, basically. And we're just going to create a very kind of smooth curved triangle shape that's really shallow. So we just come back down around here like so. And then we're just going to pull it straight back in to a fin point around about here. Excellent. There's our first fin. The other fin does a very similar thing off of the side, but goes much lower. It goes halfway between the halfway point and the top quarter, splitting things down into splitting things, I should say, down into different sections and different points is a really helpful way to break down the size and space of your characters and how they take up room. So I'm just going to get a fin that comes from around about here and it's just going to come from under the mouth and just go off into a shallow point in this direction as well. Something like that. Excellent. Now, if we go from the very top, I want you to create another line that just sticks out and follows this line all the way down and around like so. That's where we're going to fit in um, all the top fin area for the top of the head. And it goes off just and points out to there in a very similar way, a little bit thinner. Same thing at the bottom, follow that curve around about there. We've got the fins that come off of that point. And then when it comes to actually marking out the yellow areas, we're just going to imagine that there's a black edge around about here. This just curves off into a natural, smooth point like so, a tip of a bullet, and then just smooths back out. There's lots of very faint lines that create that shape. And then it's the same here. We've got just a curve that means most of this area is in yellow here. Another curve we follow to make an area that's in black. And then I think there's a black ridge that comes down the top. And then again, it's all these smooth thinning lines. Very similar here. Yellow up around the top zone. Quick run of black as a line and black around the edge. And then with these dory eyes, we're just going to put in some big dark pupils right in the middle. This area will be black. There'll probably be a spot of light right about there with these Disney Pixar eyes you always get. Then a nice big black pupil here and another spot of light around about there. Dory has these expressive eyebrows as well. So if we go to the left of this eye, start around about here and just imagine this arc that comes all the way up all the way up and then round and then it's a line that goes wants to go right down between the eyes around about here so we're going to go up we're going to curve round and just as it meets in if you imagine you're drawing the very top of a heart or the top of the letter m we go down and around and then just go up again up out and down like so up and out in fact let's make these a fair bit taller even more expression so i'm just going to get rid of that curve cheeky up and around like so and then let's get that one a tiny bit higher as well gives you the idea so that's how we kind of get the feeling and the shape the dory's 
fishy face, so to speak. Now the last bit is a very dark blue or blackish pattern that follows around the side of the fish and that is basically a curvy line. You might just want to try to copy this. Start from here and just curve over to the left as you make your way down. And then we're going to curve over to the right as we come down. And then back to the left, like a really weird letter S. Start from the top, down and around. And then this line follows right down to here to the bottom of the fin. And there's a circle of blue that's around about there. So we'll just kind of drop that in as well. But that is basically it, everybody. That is how we've got our basic dory. There's going to be a few freckles of dark blue around about here, but I might not mark that out in pen. I might just do that in the computer. But I hope this gives you a rough, simple idea of how to draw a quick, simple, easy picture of dory. I'm going to ink it up really quickly so that it makes some nice sense. I'll see you guys in just a moment. And there we have it, a nice, quick, simple, easy picture of Dory. Just going to drop a line in there. Okay, excellent. I'm going to scan this in and basically make this zone a very dark blue, just around here. These fins are going to be yellow, yellow, yellow. And the pupils of the eyes, which I'll probably try to straighten out digitally a bit, will be in purple. And the rest is obviously blue, lighter blue at the front where the face is, darker blue at the back with some dark blue freckles. I hope you found this video to be useful. If you're trying to draw your fishes at home, have a go. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Join me for more drawing stuff in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.